Hey guys, Magaz here. This is an action figure review video. The first in a series where I look through my childhood action figure collection from the very first guys I bought to the very last. Today we're going to be taking a look at my first ever G.I. Joe figure that I bought around 1988. Codename, Dodger. Also known as Richard Wenwick. Dodger was part of the Battle Force 2000 G.I. Joe subset, released in 1987 both individually and later in a two-pack with fellow member of Battle Force 2000, Knockdown. My example of Dodger is well played with and has some wear to the helmet peak and a blown out crotch. That might have happened on his downtime hitting up those special massage parlours. But that's only speculation of course. Dodger holds a special place in my heart. He was the first G.I. Joe I chose. I can remember the day even now. Dodger and his fellow G.I. Joe members, alongside some dirty, dirty cobras, were hanging on the racks on the back aisle of Toy Master on Church Street in Accrington. I don't know what drew me to him, but he's the jaw I picked. Let's take a look at Dodger's file card. I don't have a physical example of the card, so this reference image is from yourjaw.com. The file card reads, Codename, Dodger, Marauder Driver. File name, Renwick, Richard. Serial number, 439-67-9256. Primary, military specialty. Armored vehicle maintenance. Secondary, military specialty. Electronics maintenance. Birthplace, South Bend, Indiana. Grade, E7. The modern armored fighting vehicle operator has access to a varied array of high-tech driving aids and Dodger is well-versed in the use of all of them including the holographic night vision goggles, holographic lens system combined with phosphorus image intensifying tube, thermal imaging rangefinders, non-coherent pulse doppler radars, and computer-driven multi-mode situational displays. This guy was driving track vehicles before they had any of these fancy new gadgets. If he has to, he unbuttons the hatch, sticks his face in the wind, and steers by instinct and guts. Sure, he's an expert with all the new hardware, but... Who knows if it's all going to work when the chips are down. Dodger isn't dependent on them. And that makes him somebody you can depend on. Let's take a close look at Dodger. Included with the figure are two accessories. A laser sonic photon rifle, which I always thought was some kind of spear gun. And a silver boom mic that attaches to the helmet. Most examples of Dodger I have seen on the second hand market are missing this microphone. The rifle is silver in colour and is based on no real world weapon system. It's a very 80s sci-fi weapon that doesn't really float my boat. I'd have rather seen him with a real world weapon system given he is a vehicle driver, something like an MP5 or a short AR variant would suit him nicely. Dodger's body was built from all new parts that, as far as I know, were only reused for the version 2 of Dodger in the Sonic Fighters line. The Sonic Fighters version takes all that is great about this figure and throws it in the toilet. Dodger's unique T-block camouflage pattern is replaced with lighter green, smingy browns, rain gutter slime green, and bright red and gold. It's not... not cool at all. Although he does come with a backpack that makes some very nice sounds and a lot of reused weapons, so... I mean, there is that. Dodger's head has a non-removable helmet with a unique camouflage pattern. This pattern is repeated on his legs and definitely draws inspiration from the experimental US Marine T-block pattern seen on training exercises in the late 80s. The helmet has a device, possibly a light with a red filter on the left side and a large boom mic on the right. It is secured by a grey chin strap. His base layer is a textured brown wife beater vest which, after careful inspection, may be over an Audi green wife beater vest as well. A nice detail with the sculpt is the vest extends down past his waist and onto his hips. On top of this is what looks like a chest plate, possibly armour. With a chest rig over the top, this chest rig has about 11 pouches. He has a pair of grey shoulder straps with what look like shotgun cartridges and another light with a red filter. His legs are in the same T-block camo pattern with grey pads on the thighs and large ribbed boots in green and grey. His arms are bare and very muscular, with Odin Green fingerless gloves. His right wrist has what looks like three paracord bracelets in grey. If we take a step back from the figure and look at it as a whole, the helmet with a boom mic and some kind of weird device on the side, a flashlight on the shoulder, armour, interesting camo pattern, futuristic weapon, and we take into account the day he was released, it seems almost a no-brainer that someone at Hasbro was definitely into aliens. 
Dodger is really the G.I. Joe tech on the United States Colonial Marine aesthetic. Dodger was really released in 2017 as a modern version of the figure for the G.I. Joe Collectors Club Force of Battle 2000 box set, along with the rest of the Battle Force 2000 team and some dirty, dirty Cobra bats. The modern take is pretty good at first glance, but the lack of a removable helmet and a strange head sculpt make it a little less amazing. The Colonial Marine aesthetic is definitely apparent with that version, though. If Dodger didn't hold such a nostalgic place in my heart, would I pick him up as a modern collector? It's hard to say. My taste as a collector have changed. I definitely prefer more modern looking military styled figures. Sci-fi isn't in my wheelhouse. I can't really see a place where Dodger would fit into my modern collecting habits. Maybe sat inside a MOBA or a Moller, Like he should be, given he's an armoured fighting vehicle driver. Other than that, I don't think I'd buy him at this point in my life. That being said, I'll never part with this figure. He was my first. He popped my cherry. And he's always going to be special to me. Now I've got to go find some of that super rare UST block camo. Because... Well, reasons. If you enjoyed this figure review and want to see more, hit subscribe. Let me know your thoughts down below. And thanks for watching.